Nice broadcast with an update to that fireball that we saw in the sky yesterday. Numerous residents reported seeing it, but reports in Georgia indicate parts of the meteorite fell through someone's roof. News 19's Megan Doxious has more insight into the fireball that has caused a lot of chatter on social media. I bet their neighbor is like, thank goodness it wasn't me. No, I do feel terrible. I'm glad everybody's OK, but yeah, that is a little scary. A site that lit up the sky and left a lot of people talking. Matthew Whitehouse, observatory manager at the South Carolina State Museum, says the fireball could have been three feet and traveling around 40,000 miles an hour. But how could something so small be seen across multiple states? I know in a lot of the videos it looks like the meteor is kind of descending down like this, but in reality it's way up in the atmosphere, and that's why we can see it over such a large distance. He says meteors like this are not uncommon. It's just a little bit unusual to have it happen over such a populated area. Most of the time these things happen over like the ocean. Pieces of this one ending up in a Georgia neighborhood causing minor damage but no injuries. Still, it was close enough to make an impact. But you always see kind of random videos about stuff you don't understand unless you're a scientist. And watching it be so close to home hits a little close to home in a weird way. Megan Douchis, News 19, WLTX.